So I've been working on my little Dayton surround project, the one with 123 Toyd, and I've been building it, but we got some unusual snow and cold weather for where I live in the Pacific Northwest. It is blazingly cold out there, and I'm just not that motivated to work on it, so I'm kind of stuck at the moment. I got them partly put together, and I'm stopping there for now. In the meantime, I figured I'd use the snow day to work on the crossovers a little bit more. And while I was at it, I came upon something kind of cool that I wanted to share. Um, a lot of you guys ask about crossover design, and I think sometimes th I give the impression that I just look at a bunch of lines and make decisions based on that, and I don't use my ears. So when we're evaluating crossovers, we want good sound, but then, then it's important as engineers to kind of start to trim the crossover down as much as we can. So eventually you come to a point, once you got the crossover kind of sounded how you like, you should be asking, can I hear this? Is it better? And is it worth it? So I mentioned in my last video, I kind of showed you this inductor here that I was playing with and deciding whether I really needed it or not. So today I want to show you three songs um, that I'll play with the inductor and without the inductor, and I'll record them in exactly the same way, and you guys can hear the difference, and then decide what you would do. So what we'll do here is I'll play you the song with the speaker, with the inductor, the supposed better way of doing the crossover, so including the inductor in the crossover, and then I'll unclip the inductor and play the exact same recording through the speaker without the inductor, and you can hear the difference side by side. So here we go, first one. So, could you hear the change? Let's try another song. This song is um, very percussive, lots of bongos and drums type things like that. So have a go with this. Okay, how about that time? Okay, the final song, this is just straight up piano, no extra instruments or any kind of faff, just piano. Have a listen. Okay, so, could you hear a difference? Think about that. Ask yourself, honestly, if you could hear a difference. Maybe even put it in the comments whether or not you could hear a difference. I'll tell you right now, I've got the added advantage of listening to lots of music that I know very well uh, and hearing it in person, not through YouTube. So I've got an extra layer of advantage that you guys don't have and I could not hear a difference. I couldn't even hear a difference. I couldn't even get to my second question was, is it better? And then my third question is, is it worth it? And this is something I expected to be able to hear. I mean, the difference in the lines and the graphs seems significant to me. Um, and I've been able to hear, in other cases, uh, much smaller diff changes than that. You know, a lot of people say, oh, we can't hear 3 dB anyways. Well, that's not true. We can hear much higher resolution than that. This just goes to show that it really depends on the bandwidth and where on the driver, you know, what part of the driver it is and things like that. 
So in any case, I'm taking this out of my crossover for the final speaker build, which is coming along nicely, I might add. And 123Toid, if you're watching this, my crossover is now four parts. So I really kicked your butt. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I just had to throw that out there. But uh, you know what? This might be the simplest crossover I've ever done. Um, usually I'm not afraid to throw a few bucks at it. But really, I mean, we're talking about $50 worth of drivers. And this inductor is probably five bucks. So I'm gonna leave it here. I might tweak some values. I might see what a better resistor like LPAD might do and things like that. So I'm not saying I'm done, but I'm definitely at a point where I could be done and it's darn cheap, darn simple and pretty cool. So anyways, let me know in the comments if you could hear a difference. Maybe I've just got 10 ears and if you're some golden ear listener and can hear a difference, let me know if you think it's better and if you think it's worth it. And hang around for the build video on this. It's coming along nicely. I just can't work out in the shop. Touching tool steel and things like that sounds extremely painful right now. Thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe, like, comment, whatever you feel like doing. And I uh, appreciate you watching this video. Talk to you later. Bye.